Greetings, it is I, the Great One himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com on the interwebs. Give me your Bitcoin. I'm back with a little more CLSology. First of all, an update. I just jumped over another river crossing and almost, no bullshit, almost when I landed, almost blew my fucking knee out. So it was conceivably possible that I could have had to spend the night on the side of the mountain because probably nobody else is coming up here today, which is the next thing I'm going to talk about. I also saw a snake. It was awesome. Just a small one. I don't know what kind he was. Just a little brown snake, but it was cool. And I heard two things in the bushes. I don't know what they were. I think I'm going to guess they could have been snakes. So as I'm walking down right now, I'm thinking that right now, I am the only person out here. Because I went to the top and I'm coming back down. I know there's nobody on the trail behind me. There's nobody on the trail behind me. Unless they came in through the back door that I was talking about. Oh, back door, pooter, river. Oh, butt jokes. Oh, get it out. Slap your knee, kids. Hilarious. Nobody's coming behind me. (laughs) Coming behind me. (laughs) Yeah, hey, hey, Beavis, I like come behind her. Yeah, yeah, I come on her. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, butthead. All right. <laughs> Wait, I had the voices backwards. Let's be shut up, Beavis. Yeah, yeah, Beavis. Yeah, but it. Yeah, I want to come on her. Yeah, come behind her. Yeah. Right, anyway, nobody's going to come up behind me. Nobody's going to be coming up the trail towards me because, of course, there's still a couple of dark clouds in the sky. And oh my God, it's so scary. Nobody's going to go walking the trail under these kind of weather conditions because they're afraid. Oh, I'm so afraid. Uh, I'm afraid. I basically have this entire stretch of trail and wilderness. I this I got this. It's all me right now. I got this all to myself. And we're getting some raindrops. I may have to abort if it stops. If it stops not raining a lot, or if it starts raining significantly, I may have to stop recording. But that's okay, because all I wanted to say is, for those, if you're listening to this and you live in a city, and you don't ever get to go out and appreciate the joy of true solitude, I mean, you know, you can live in a city and go in your room and close the door and have nobody around you. But, I mean, I'm out here on the side of a mountain by a stream in the rain there's nobody around and do you hear the sound of silence not silence as in lack of noise but silence as in the lack of man made noise Maybe you're hearing a little bit of the stream, which is over to my right. Maybe on this recorder it's picking up some of the raindrops. Maybe it's picking up some birds. I don't know. And maybe it's picking up nothing because the sound is so subtle. The air is fresh. The rain feels good. It's actually humid here in Colorado, which normally we don't have humidity. For those of you who are from humid places, I know you think the humidity sucks. Trust me, being in a non-humid place where all the moisture is sucked out of your skin, it really fucking sucks. I, if Colorado, if Colorado, I could even live with the snow if it was just humid year round. If this place could hover around 40% humidity, it'd be okay. I mean, I love Colorado despite. It's a great place to be. Not as good as Texas. But Texas is fucking hot, but it has humidity. Colorado has snow, but doesn't have humidity. You can't have everything you want. No matter how much you whine to the government and go, Oh, but Obama, but they're discriminating against me because I can't have everything I want. You can't fucking have everything you want. But what I can have right now is solitude. 
beautiful solitude. I can raise my voice and I can shout, Anarchy! Out into the world. Oh yeah. Hey look, there's people. Now see, this, this is the most beautiful thing ever. Because as I'm waxing on about being out here and about how nobody else is going to come down the trail because it's raining, here come these two gentlemen on their mountain bikes, thus proving me wrong yet again. I don't know why this keeps happening. Hey. So you see, no matter how right you think you are, there's always the possibility of being wrong about something. You can think you're going to stand in the woods and shout anarchy and no one's going to hear you. If a tree fall if a tree shouts anarchy in the woods, does anybody hear it? That's the question. Now, the other interesting thing is, is the first guy who went by me just totally ignored me like I was insane, which is cool. The second guy actually acknowledged my existence. All right. Hold on. River crossing. Yes. Made it alive. All right. So anyway, see, here I am thinking nobody is going to have the balls to get their asses up on the side of the mountain because there's some dark clouds overhead. And yet again, I am proven wrong. And this is how the world works. This is why, hey, let's talk about anarchy for a minute. This is why central planning doesn't fucking work. Because nobody can know everything. I was completely certain nobody else would be up here. And I was wrong. This is why... I should not make decisions for other people. This is why other people should not make decisions for me. This is why central planning does not work. But of course you people just want more and more and more central planning. Oh, you just need Obama to fucking control the healthcare system for you? Because if you got some Obamacare, well, now all your problems are going to be solved, right? You just need some Obamacare. Well, my friends, you've got your fucking Obamacare. How's that working out for you?